taking aim at a new goal. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. In 2017, the University of Evansville women's soccer team showed flashes of brilliance, but ultimately fell short of the mark. In 2018, they opened fall camp motivated by that and are determined to turn things around. We caught up with head coach Krista McKendry and a few of the veterans to find out exactly the game plan and what is the message as the season approaches. Last season obviously didn't go the way you guys wanted. Um, what's kind of been the mo is that somewhat the motivation here during camp is to really try to turn things around? Yeah, I think this year we're coming in with like a whole different attitude and we started it in, pre in um, spring last season and we had just like a good chemistry, good vibes coming in. So then everyone worked hard over the summer and hopefully it'll carry through to the fall season. Even last year we had all the talent that we need. We realized that it really is just a mental game and supporting your teammates, being positive, uplifting one another. And I think through the spring we really managed to build on that. We had a lot of team bonding and just team camaraderie that you a lot of teams don't get to experience on that kind of level. So I think building off of that, coming in with a positive mindset and then just integrating the freshmen in is just going to be huge. So just building off that from really last season was a huge learning curve for us. What is the message that you and your staff want to or have already given to this team? I mean, I think it's, you know, embracing every day and just trying to live in the moment, uh, you know, not worrying about what's going to happen today, tomorrow, uh, you know, two months from now, a season from now, and just worrying about today, uh, you know, and just really focusing on our practice, practice. Uh, and if we can focus on that every day, then we'll enjoy it, you know, and building the relationships to making sure that we're enjoying the experience that we're going through. What's the one thing you think this team needs to improve on? I think, honestly, we just have to remain close together as one and just fight for each other on the field. And if we can do that, then we'll be able to like progress and do well. Bringing each other up when it's tough, like a couple days in a preseason, our bodies are going to be sore, we're going to be exhausted, and that's when the mental game comes in. And remember, that's what I said about the learning curve that we had to take from last year. So that's really when it's going to be testing us, and that's when we have to prove it to each other that we can, we can obviously do it. We're fit. We passed the beep test. Um, so it's just bringing each other up and maintaining that positivity. Seven days from now, you guys go over to Edwardsville. It seems like it get it's like, hey, practice, boom, go out and play. So it really get, it really kind of sneaks up on you quick, doesn't it? Yeah, always. You know, we're used to that by now. Um, you know, the good and the bad of being, you know, the fall sport and, and one of the first teams on campus as you play really soon uh, upon arrival. So we know that. We're used to that. Um, you know, obviously it seven days is a good ability to go test yourself against somebody else and just see what we've been working on how that's coming together but most importantly what do we still need to work on preseason always comes fast for us and you know there's only a limit, limited amount of time you get with your team just to work like before the first game so just got to be ready always that first game it's even nervous like I feel like it's my first one back with Evansville every single game like the first game of the season um, but seven days away no and it, I know it's going to fly by it always does the Purple Aces will get a first litmus test next Wednesday when they open up exhibition play on the road at Southern Illinois Edwardsville. And then it's back on campus at Arad McCutcheon Stadium as they take on Eastern Illinois that following Saturday. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.